podcast. <laughs> Wildfowl. <laughs> now, I'm going to need to know if anybody's been broadcasting any radio frequencies. Yes. Through what should have been a speaker system that informed the population of some sort of a pending disaster. Yes. And then get me all the local radio stations because, you know, if I find out that you're using your ears to listen to somebody other than the law, I would say that you are intentionally obstructing my rights because you're following orders. Isn't that general? Isn't that general? Just get me all the local radio stations and then the actual locations of all the emergency broadcasting equipment and then get me all the long range and short wave uh, radio operators. Yes. And then get me all the radio telescopes. Now, it could be that we're following orders from somebody that we don't see, but oh, what did I not see? Now, this is by the numbers. Yes. Mm -hmm. 11.9 million, the, the current mid-continent lesser snow goose population up 29% in 2017. <laughs> you know, when you think of a snow goose, you wonder who's up there counting all of them. Yes. <laughs> Take you a long time to count 11.9 million, wouldn't it? <laughs> you know, uh, Illinois' fourth biological station was established in 1894. Pooh. Could you get me all the stations that have any sort of uh, RFID tag? And see, I was reading this about uh, shooting ducks. Yes. <laughs> ducks in a barrel. Yes. <laughs> and they have what's known as waterfowl bound reports, a band report. Yes, it's a band report. And this is really a great map here because you see these different lines are going different directions. Yeah, this one's going this way. Maybe they're all going the same direction. You think they'd fly north for the winter? No. <laughs> But quite often, yes, when you banned a waterfowl. <laughs> now, my thought was, well, this is band number 2047-11491. Yes. And Hunter uh, Court Van Tessel, Lafayette, Louisiana. Mm -hmm. is the cabin's back? Yes. And the location was in Tennessee. Yeah. It was recovered on January 2nd, 2016. <laughs> MojoOutdoors.com. More than likely, okay, these bands, because I thought about it, yes, I thought a guy had a personal radio station where he could track the migration of the different types of waterfowls, knowing where they were at now, but there were, <laughs> but then I thought he shot the bird, no, I thought so I, he was one of these duck hunters, no, and then the bird, uh, he'll, you know, crash to the ground, and he goes over there, and he finds a little band, and then he puts it in the mojo outdoors, <laughs> And uh, it's kind of like, oh, look at me, look at, I won the, the top secret prize of the bird that I just shot down. <laughs> but I'm thinking, yes, <laughs> these waterfowl locations, yes, 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 more than likely they have some sort of RFID. <laughs> you're sitting there watching 11.9 of these gooses flying about. 